Mukaru Sanga Console is a widow and a genocide survivor from the age of 26. One year into her marriage, Console lost her husband and was left to fend for a family of 21 members. She says they all grew up and now have families. I take loans where possible. I hunt for tenders to make uniforms, curtains, or I partner with other entrepreneurs from the first tender. I bought a car, and since then, I have always owned a car. 21 people lived in this house, this same house you're in, and I was the sole provider for all their needs. Umuhizi Olivier survived the genocide that was perpetrated against the Tutsis at a tender age of 15. He felt that life was meaningless because the sole survivor in his family. He dived into alcoholism and drug abuse. He later reformed and today he is an entrepreneur with the family. Things that help me rebuild myself include marriage. When you have children, you feel that you have a family. You feel peace in you. I have one wife, but she's gone to work now. And I work from home because I now have an empire I'm building and other businesses that feed into finances. I am grateful to my country and my president who helped us in all ways possible. A psychologist at the elite Mukamana says that for one to build themselves depends with the daily life they live. For one not to have daily means is another form of heart. You have lost your family, but you are also not living. So for you to have this means building you or everyone around you. For one to be strong psychologically, the environment also has to support you and those around you. For you not to have all this, then it is difficult and is basically not living. Officials from the Genocide Survivors Support and Assistance Fund, FARJ, say that every year about 25,000 genocide survivors received direct support. 29,744 families were built for houses. 107,660 students finished their secondary school education and 38,174 of these went to universities. <laughs>